Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I am finally going to talk more about my Chihua and what it eats. I feel like you guys haven't seen him very much since I got him besides the Wayne videos but of course if you've watched them, one, you know he is a boy and two, you know he's growing fairly well. So since getting him he's grown about 3 or 4 centimetres and gone from 20 to 29 grams which I know it doesn't sound like a lot but for a small lizard in the space of 2 months I think that's pretty good going. So clearly I'm doing something right food wise so I figured I'd talk you through what I feed my Chihua. Like a lot of geckos from New Caledonia, Chihuahuas eat both a fruit-based diet and insects, though Chihuahuas seem to consume much more insects than crested geckos. Upon doing research, I found that a breeder had actually said they found the best growth in young Chihuahuas was when they offered a 50-50 fruit to insect diet. Knowing this, I kind of expected the Chihuahua to go crazy for insects when I first offered them to him, but actually he didn't show much interest at all. So I did just stick to giving him Pangea. So yes, if you are wondering, they can eat the same food as our crested geckos, so your Pangea or a Pashi, things like that. Just make sure the diet you use is decent and there are a few that are really, really bad. So I always suggest Pangea or a Pashi. But yeah, so at, at the start, didn't seem very interested in insects and I believe he only gained about 2 grams in the first month in comparison to 7 grams in the last month. So I definitely think him getting more used to his environment, eating insects and having a change of diet, which I'll get into in a moment, has definitely helped him have this growth spurt. Also, whilst we're on the subject of diet, if you ever read that geckos can be offered baby food, please just ignore that. That so-called information is so outdated. Not only is baby food just actually kind of expensive, but it's completely unsuitable and lacks the correct nutrition for our animals. So whenever I read that, just, ugh, it irritates me that information is still about. Anyway, speaking of nutrition and diets, I have now moved my Jehua onto a more natural, synthetic free diet, hence why I think he has had this growth spurt. So what I mean by this is I offer my gecko Sticky Foot Gold by Arcadia as a main diet and then he has Jelly Pot Gold, the range of them, um, as treats, so there's about four different ones and he seems to really like them. And once again, they are by Arcadia, and I know I say their name a lot, but that's just because I use so many of their products. They don't ask me or pay me to actually say it. It's just what I use. Um, and as you may know from previous videos, I am now working with them to make help make their product videos on their channel. And so if you do want to learn more about the jelly pots that I offer my gecko, head on over there, I'll leave you a link. But... This is the kind of diet I'm using, it's, it's completely natural, it doesn't have synthetics because the problem is if you do want to use a UVB light in the tank, Pangea and Rapashi contain synthetic D3 which is okay if you don't want to provide a UV light but if you do it can get a little bit iffy because you could be just oversupplying D3. Anyway, we'll get onto that in a sec because as well as these diets, I also of course offer insects like crickets and mealworms and waxworms and I'm pretty sure he eats some of the cleanup crew because I find him down the bottom of his tank sometimes at night, wide eyes and the woodlouse population has suddenly dropped. <laughs> so he may actually be eating a few of the woodlice, but that's okay, they're high in calcium and everything. But when I am actually offering him feed insects, I dust them in Earth Pro A, which I've done a video on as well, and that's the same vitamins I use for my leopard geckos. Now of course this does not contain any synthetic D3 so as I said I have to provide a UVB light and I use a UV flood and I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is an expensive piece of equipment. I certainly didn't click the checkout button with a lot of enthusiasm because it is quite expensive. So what I do is for two hours in the morning the UV comes on and then it switches to the jungle dawn light and then two hours in the evening the UV comes on. And the good thing is he does use it. That's definitely a good thing. I always find him high up on the cork, under the light, but it is an expensive bit of equipment. So if Arcadia is watching, 
if you could make a slightly cheaper version, that would be ideal. But um, he does use it and I've heard that it can help bring out his colours and everything a lot more. I mean, I know he's pretty much a black gecko, but I'm seeing red develop in him and it's pretty cool. Anyway, in the future, I do hope to move Lyra onto this more natural way of feeding and with the light and everything, but for now, she is slightly obsessed with her Pangea food. <laughs> She's a very stubborn little girl. She knows what she loves and, you know, I like to keep her happy. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about my Chihua. I will do more videos on him in the near future, I'm sure, so please make sure you subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.